Good morning and welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. Good morning, I'm Rhonda. And I'm Chuckalicious, Chuck Williams. And I'm proud to present to you uh, one of the good guys, uh, General James C. Uh, McConville. Uh, he's here with the U.S. Army. Uh, since t- 2001, the U.S. Army introduced a new uh, modern brand, re- redefining what it means. And it's that classic icon from when I was a kid, be all you can be for a new generation. Uh, the brand and the campaign is part of what the Army has to offer today's people who are looking for Great career opportunities and great choices and a chance to learn how to become a leader. General, sir, welcome to the chat. Thank you for your time. Well, thank you for uh, let me join you here. And just a special thanks to all the Texans out there. I had the privilege of serving in the 1st Cavalry Division at Fort Hood. And uh, the support of the community around that area is unbelievable. And we're all excited about the new brand coming out. Mm-hmm. Well, General, what led the Army to want to refresh this brand after years and years of being all you can be what what's with that well you know when i came in the army in 1981 it was be all you could be right. and we went away from that we came out with the the army of one and some other slogans and you know, if you ask a parent and, and i'm a parent of uh, three soldiers two sons and a daughter or if you ask your young men and women you know what, what do you want your kids to be you know not necessarily an army of one but what you want them to be is all they can be. You want to give them a, a pathway to success. And we believe that the Army is a pathway to success. It's a place where there's infinite possibilities. And we want to expose that to young men and women so they can have a successful life. Well, I want to take this moment. I have never had the privilege of thanking a general. Thank you for your service and all that you've done. I appreciate what you what you do for our country. Um, what are the core components of the new brand and the surrounding campaign that that's coming up? Yeah, well, as far as the, the campaign, uh, you know, we're out on social media. We just got you'll see some new uh, commercials coming out, and uh, Jonathan Majors is very honored to have him uh, as our narrator. Uh, interesting enough, you know, for the young men and women, he resonates extremely. Uh, well with them. He does a great job of, of showing uh, the history of, of, of what the Army's done as far as innovation. And again, what we're trying to do is is, is explain to uh, the American public that there's limitless opportunities. You can be anything you want to be in the United States Army. Uh, there's education, training, uh, discipline. We'll teach you how to make your bed. There's the opportunity of, uh, for fitness, the world's greatest health club. And we just want to make sure that the American People are aware of the opportunities in the United States Army. And that's one thing, General, I want to touch on. Uh, when I was in, and, and some people have this this idea that the Army is all infantry, all tankers, all these type of things. But I, just from my own personal experience, the medical fields, uh, clerical, banking, finance, uh, technology, and that's become a major, major role and a major player uh, in cyber and, and that sort of thing. What are some of the possibilities that the Army has available for people today and, and, and the benefits of that, of being part of that Army family? Yeah, I think, you know, you, you named a, a lot of them. But, you know, first of all, we're masters of combat arms. But the technology even our combat arms soldiers are working with is absolutely amazing. But you can be a pilot. You can be a lawyer. You can be a world-class musician. Cyber is actually huge. We have young men and women. In fact, they're... They're in Texas right now. We have a software factory in Texas where young men and women are coding, uh, which we're going to use on the battlefield because we're going to have to deal with algorithms and artificial intelligence and technology. So there's tremendous opportunities that you get uh, in the Army, in the military, and leadership. Leadership is something that when you stay four years, you stay 40 years, you'll take that with you. You go back into your civilian community. And you'll have a pathway to success by serving the mar- uh, in the army. Is this uh, uh, is this new uh, brand redefinition? Is this attracting uh, uh, a, a newer and younger crowd? Is it really that effective so far, sir? Well, we've done the analysis, and uh, we we have experts that do that. And, and what they tell us is what a lot of us believed was 
this was the way to go. And when they did sensing sessions with young men and women, this really resonated with them. And just like when I came to the Army in, in 1981, the slogan was be all you could be. Right. It resonated with, with us when we were kids, and it's resonating with the kids now. But it's also resonating with the parents, the teachers, and the influences who are very, very uh, important in determining whether young men and women go in the military. What well, One thing, G General, I want to stress, uh, this is also a great opportunity, especially for the female soldier. There's endless careers and possibilities for women in the military nowadays. They, they, they're going into places that uh, we didn't think they would do 30, 20, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, tell that young lady who's sitting out there and is thinking about her future uh, the benefit of the U.S. Army. Yeah, we have incredible women serving the United States Army. We have a four-star General Laura Ritson right now in, in charge of our uh, Southern Command. Uh, we have women that are pilots. We have women that are doctors. We have women in the infantry. All our fields are open to women. And quite frankly, the women that we see uh, come in the Army are absolutely incredible. We Last year, we had four Rhodes Scholars at West Point that were women. Mm. And uh, these are fabulous people. And, and I, I will tell you a story of I, I, when I was in the 1st Cavalry Division uh, from Texas, we were in Iraq, and we had a pilot uh, lead a mission. Her uh, name was Cindy Roselle, and she ended up saving a whole bunch of lives flying Apache in combat. So women can do anything they want to do in the United States Army, and just like everyone else, they can be all they can be. That's it. I, I'll let you go on this, Janitor, General, but a funny story. Boot Hill, uh, not Boot Hill, but uh, the Derby Queen, Fort Benning, Georgia. And uh, young platoon, young infantrymen, and, and we did something as a unit that we weren't supposed to. I think we weren't sounding off or something. So we get dropped and have to low crawl. And this is like 5 o'clock in the morning. The sun's coming up. And all of a sudden, out of this quiet stillness of these drill sergeants screaming at us, one guy, a guy I knew named Bailey, starts singing, B, all that you can. And, and no, every, no one could stop from laughing. It was just like, yeah, this is what I'm doing. But the Army will uh, teach you some things, uh, not just the skills uh, to have a great life, but it will teach you discipline. It will teach you leadership. Uh, it'll bring the best out of you. Uh, I suggest to, to young men and women, if, if you're unclear on your path and you're trying to find your way, don't discount the U.S. military. It, it is It paid for my education. Uh, it pays for my son's education, and it's made some great, great Americans uh, have come from their time in service. And uh, the general here is one of them. Thank you for your service, General. We really appreciate it. And, uh, this was brought to you by the U.S. Army. For more information on the Army's new brand and the possibilities, be all you can be, visit GoArmy.com. General, thank you, sir. As always, be careful. Have a great day. We appreciate your time this morning.